My name is Nestor Campos. I'm a third year undergraduate here at UC Davis. Um, currently, I just started working for Clinica Tepati uh, under the intake. So intake requires taking the vitals uh, for the patients, you know, blood pressure, heart rate, respiration rate, height, weight, the basics uh, for any role in the medical profession. Uh, but it's been a great tool and really, we really get a chance to interact with patients and really get to know how this side works as opposed to what you see in the textbooks. Um, it's been a great tool so far, you know, getting to meet a lot of different people, medical students, nursing, uh, actual doctors, you know, to give you some knowledge and how it all works and how to get to where they're at today. Um, which is something that has no value in my book. So it's, it's, it's something that I've, I've really enjoyed and, and it's been a great experience so far. My name is Roxana Cabrera and I have been part of Clinica Tepati since spring of 2013. My position here at Clinic is co-head of the referrals committee and what that means is pretty much anytime that a patient comes in and needs a service that we can't provide at Clinic, we refer them out to other clinics or other doctors who can provide them with that service. Uh, by working with the referrals committee, I have been able to work and interact with the patients and really get to know them and grow an appreciation not only for, the, for our patients, but also for the volunteers here at Clinica. Um, it's an amazing experience to be able to see our patients come in uh, one day and you can tell that they're not feeling so well and a month later you see them again and it's a complete 180 transformation. And they're smiling again and just the, the way they look at you is just full of gratitude and it makes us as volunteers feel, feel so great um, and makes us realize why we put in so many of our own hours into keeping this place open. So we have dizzy lightheadedness. We have chest pain, interesting GERD. Oh, the vague, the vague has to Yeah. 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 Okay. It's had chest pain. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, do they have IG? Gastroesophageal yeah. reflux. Yes. Yeah. So they're, they're I'm so thinking uh, yeah. so retroperitoneal. Do you do the IGM and IGM? The IgM and the IgM. Yeah. Okay. It happens commonly with diabetic patients. I'm not sure. This is a complicated case. Hi, my name is Joseph Trujillo, and I'm one of the co-directors at Clinica Tapati. Um, it's one of the student-run clinics through the UC Davis School of Medicine. Um, currently, my position is uh, interclinic uh, rep and um, the community liaison. A few responsibilities of being the interclinic rep and community liaison are helping fundraise money for our volunteer clinic. I'm also helping um, Clinica Tabati access free seasonal flu vaccines through UC Davis's School of Medicine uh, flu crew. My experience at Clinica Tabati has really been eye-opening, um, mainly because um, I've been able to see a lot of undocumented and uninsured patients in the Sacramento area receive uh, affordable health care that they otherwise wouldn't be able to receive um, in other places or at other clinics. So. Um, I find, it, I find myself really privileged to be in this position uh, to help people who, who need help, access to healthcare. My favorite part about being in a clinic is um, being able to learn from the uh, preceptors here at Clinica Devati that volunteer, but also uh, being able to teach the undergrads and uh, working with such a cohesive and hardworking organized group of undergraduates that are pursuing the health field. Um, uh, they, make the, they make the the clinic the most enjoyable part. Hi, I'm Vida Sandoval and I'm a second year here at UC Davis and I'm a receptionist at the Bati. So basically what we, are, we as receptionists do here at the Bati is we take the patient chief complaint. So either the new or the established patient will come up to our window and we'll ask them their reasons for coming to clinic. 
And by that conversation that you have with the patient, you'll be able to tell if they're here for lab results, if they want medication refills, if they want to go to one of our specialty clinics like the dietary or our women's clinic, maybe they want to go to our diabetes interest group meeting, or maybe they need to see a doctor. And basically we just try to ask as many follow-up questions as possible. We want to get the most information um, so that we know what the next step is to take with that patient. Being part of the Pati is the most amazing experience. It's been really great so far. The patients are just so appreciative and so grateful. And, you know, being part of the Pati is more than just something to put on your resume or a networking experience. Those are all great perks of being part of this organization. But really what we do it for is our patients. That's all it's ever really been about. We try to provide services for these patients that they wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. And we've been doing it for over 40 years now and we'll continue to do it.